Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be doing a science experiment. What we're going to be working on, scientists, is how to make rain. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but scientists who study the weather are called meteorologists. And today, we're going to do a meteorologist experiment. Here's what you're going to need. A glass, some shaving cream, and some water, okay? We're going to do three different trials to see how to make rain like a scientist, all right? Step one, get a glass. Step two, fill it three-fourths of the way full with water. Step three, this is the fun part. Make your fluffy shaving cream cloud on top. The first test we're gonna do is with food coloring, okay? You're going to, with a parent's supervision, <laughs> unscrew the top. And I don't know if you guys wanna come in a little closer. You're going to drop right onto the top some food coloring. This is what happens with real clouds when it rains. Water is absorbed into the cloud and it gets heavier and heavier until it falls down as rain. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now, if you don't have food coloring, we have some other options. Get your glass of water, and maybe you have some juice at home. Fill the top with shaving cream. Look at that fluffy cumulus cloud. And pour the juice right onto the top of the cloud, a little bit at a time. And you should see, as it gets heavier and heavier, it starts to rain down. That looks like a pretty intense rainstorm. Okay, option number three, if you order Chinese takeout a lot, like Miss Walsh does, you could use one of these packets of soy sauce. I know they always give you a lot of extra, okay? So same thing, get your glass with water, fill the top with shaving cream. Look at that beautiful cloud, and then, Take the soy sauce and pour it on top of the cloud. Now you probably notice soy sauce is a little more oily, so it makes kind of a different experiment. Pretty cool though. Okay, final option, all right? This is where we're gonna be a little bit of a mad scientist here. We're gonna take the red juice and we're going to add the blue food coloring to it. Now, before I do this, scientists, what do you think is gonna happen? Okay, let's figure it out. It's getting saturated, which means filled with water. It's getting heavier and heavier. Oh, and there it goes. You probably noticed that it's changing from blue 
to purple. Okay, now for cleanup, all right? You're gonna carefully take your glass <laughs> and walk over the sink, pour it in. 